What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're taking a look at more indie games. Today we're looking at Breath Edge, which is like Subnautica in space, essentially. It's all you really need to know about it with a wicked sense of humor. I like humor. I like laughs. I like the feeling of enjoyment. I'm not blank faced. Let's do this thing. Let's play. So we're gonna play on standard mode. Sounds good to me. Yup, name of the game can be Breath Edge. That's perfectly fine by me. The Red Bruins Softworks team is categorically against smoking, which causes loud headlines in newspapers and other diseases. Therefore, we suggest that you replace this dangerous cigarette in the robot's claw with something more useful. Now, forget that, dude. I missed the day. Final Fantasy VII, when Sid drags the entire cigarette before he does his limit break. So gangster. Did he you just... are again. Did you have time to think of how to behave during the interrogation? Remind him, R2-D3. Ow! Jerk. You tell us all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm? Put on a defiant expression and spit in the face of this piece of... You know, I'm more worried about the fact that he just smoked through his titty than anything else. Like, that's an odd arrangement of biology, my dude. Yeah, get some. <laughs> you tell us all from the beginning or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? I don't know what that sentence was bargaining for, so I'm just going to tell him. I mean, we could keep spitting on him, I guess, but he got windshield wipers, so he kind of hard counters us. We've got to talk to the devs. That's OP. Please nerf. You lied to me. Logo was impossible. Could not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth. No lie. Confirm. Uh, if we gotta retell him the story, he doesn't believe me? But that's much less interesting though. Like, I liked it with the sugar on top. It made the story more cinematic. It made it much more understandable. Like, it had like feelings and stuff in it. Comrade, take care of your health. Apparently the chicken's fine, so that's good. We can make ourselves funerary spacesuits built in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start communicating further, confirm that you were still able to read after the impact. Yeah, I could still read. I think I'm okay with that. So we got item slots, we got fly. Apparently I've got a freezing danger right now. Into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss of its reputation. Therefore, we suggest that you stop the gas leak and survive. 
Well, the last thing that I would want to do is mess up your reputation. Did I just plug the gas leak with a chicken? To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. Oh. Well, the chicken's asshole is acting as kind of like a channel for every- Oh my god. When picking up any useful items, you can stuff them in your pockets, calling it an inventory, if you will. Take out Are the we... chewing gum from your pocket. Try not to get your funeral stick it somewhere except for your face. Are we about to plug the chicken's butthole with chewing gum? I don't think that worked. I think that was a market failure. Do I have to hold it, maybe? You oh, I gotta hold it. That's impressive. You've almost won. Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. If you mean by become depressed, you mean dead, then I guess I understand completely. Let's maybe strongly consider using the interphone, then? What does that say? That says, don't forget to feed the chicken. I think the chicken's alright, aside from having massive amounts of, I don't know, methane or whatever, benzene or whatever that was coming out of his ass. But I think he'll be okay. Summer 2008. Looks like India. Somehow I never asked where this photo is from. Alright, I guess we'll take it. I don't see any reason not to. That's the home phone number right there. I can't reach it, of course, and there's nobody to call unless I say hello to cockroaches. I guess I'll take it. Just the antenna. You'll have to go into outer space. I don't think I want to go into space. What if I just, like, stay right here and I wallow in my safety? We've got a processor over here. Well, it sounds like I don't really have much of a choice. What does this do? No suitable items. Are they talking about items that can go in my suit? We've got a drill blueprint over here. Grandpa's garage was full of blueprints. With them, even a hamster could assemble a tiny helicopter for itself if it had the will and a Phillips head screwdriver. When you discover a new blueprint of an item, it is automatically added to the memory of a processor in the kitchen, where you can create this item using the necessary resources, probably. Okay. So, if I wanted to make a drill... Like, do I do that from over here? I've got unlocked achievements, chicken dialectic, We've got the encyclopedia, we've got our tasks, here's our crafting menu, we've got a helmet, we've got an enhanced spacesuit. As far as tools go, we need refined metal, a battery, and a thick electrical tape. Okay. Well, I guess I'll stick with the task of what they keep telling- is that somebody running from a chicken? It wasn't worth blowing bubbles in the face of the immortal bird. The chicken, or the school wanted to sign me on as a sprinter after that race. That day, I flew. That chicken does look pretty angry, man. His eyes is glowing. He's definitely thinking that was not very cash money of you. We'll go ahead and take that right there. God, in like four years when somebody sees that video, they're going to be like, Oh my god, it's the oldest meme ever. And we're like, yeah, I know. I know. But as of right now, it's kind of what's popping. There's a survival guide. Can I play that on anything over here? No. I guess I got to go outside. <laughs> A source of increased radiation is detected. Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful, the radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. I only get 50 seconds of breath? They said I had to check the antenna though. Where's the antenna? There's a lot of things over here that kind of look like antennas. Oh cool, it's metal. Nice. I'll pick up some of these weird space gumballs. Sounds like a plan to me. We've only got like 20 seconds of breath left though, and that makes me nervous. Fill me up real fast. Fill me up. I gotta go back out on excursion. Let's go. So I gotta check an antenna. Right? That's in my task, correct? Check the antenna. Find the interphone or get depressed. Well, the antenna appears to be back that here. Was a close call. Try to adjust the antenna very carefully. You've got great engineering skills. You have broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel if it's still intact. Wait, why is the why is the steam key for an hold up? I'm a little confused right now. Why are we keeping the steam key? Okay, I'm working on it. God, I had like 10 seconds left. Stop being so panicky. Like, I'm sure we're going to be okay with our 10 seconds of oxygen. I'm trying to... That's a mug right there? Grandpa's mug. I don't really want that. I do want more metal and stuff, though. Weirdly enough, I expected 0G to be much more confusing in this game, and it seems to be alright. 
What's this green one over here? It's a nutritious goo. All right, how would you know that just from looking at it? Maybe he's more experienced in varying goo types than I am. I don't know. I skipped my gooology classes when I was in college, so that's probably part of the issue. I know we needed metal and a bunch of other stuff in order to make the drill, so I'm just trying to pick things up. I know oxygen's not unlimited. I'm working on it. Give me a second. All right, is it working now? This interphone is broken. Okay, that's fine. I expected as much, but you know, every now and again, Hail Mary miracles happen. And you're able to fix something like that overly simply by just like knocking the antenna off. It looks like the steering wheel. You need to try to connect to it. Great news. Using my ingenious two digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. All right. That doesn't sound like a particularly appealing idea to me. Uh, can we just fix it now? I grew up on the internet. I need instant gratification. If I don't start being instantly gratified in like the next 15 seconds, I'm leaving a bad Yelp review. Remember that you are still able to become depressed. I don't think dying and depressed are the exact same thing, but I get what you're saying right now. So like, what's my goal now? We picked up a bunch of nutritious goo, so that's pretty cool. It's green thick and comes from the nose. Guess what it is? Nutritious liquid that somebody choked on. This product is specifically for cheap space launches. It tastes like strawberry stuff with fish oil and can be defrosted. Gross. I got a survival guide right now. I don't know if I, like, need that. Can I make something out of the nutritious goo? I'm going to go over here and see if I can fabricate something useful. So what does that take? It takes nutritious goo and ice. Ooh, we have that. Yay! Go ahead and craft it for me. Huzzah. A packet of defrosted nutritious goo. It's easy to hold the cap in your hand. The soft packet makes it easy to squeeze everything. Yeah, just make a bunch of those. I want to have lots and lots of nutrition. Can I make water? So I need two ices in order to make a water. Ice them. There we go. We're going to ice it real fast. So we got a little bit of water right there. We got thirst plus 30. How do I drink it? Like, is that easy to do? Oh, you can use it from right there, but you can't use it from the crafting menu. Okay. Yes, that makes sense. We ate our booger paste and a little bit of water, so... I think we're in a better situation than we used to be. What is this right here? The waste disposal system is damaged and is operating in reverse mode. The toilet can suck objects flying past the shuttle when the tanks are full. Did I just pee out the side of my suit? Or can I just like endlessly pee over here? This guy's got some water pressure. He can like piss straight up in the air. Look at that right there. Look at that. Look at the skills on this guy. He's able to piss on his own face. Good water pressure, man. Good water pressure. I'm just impressed. We got a calendar for September. Maybe we should not worry about that right now. Let's go back out into the spacey space. And maybe... Got that right there. I don't know exactly what my goal is, but I'm assuming it wants me to go back to... Oh, it wants me to craft something. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna grab some metal first. There we go. You cannot stop the metals. I assume that you... Vacuum breakdowns. An electric shock of such power can lead to the failure of my systems, and I can't guarantee the safety of your corpse before the arrival of the funeral team. I need a handy scrapper. I don't have a handy scrapper. Can I get one of those? Like, where do we go for that? Like, the handy scrap mart? There's got to be a place where I can pick one of those up. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right. Well, inside the processor, we've got equipment. So we've got tools. We've got items. So if we need the cryptographic debugging station, we need wire for that. How do I make wire? I've got refined metal right there. Go ahead. Make a refined metal. Why not? We got nothing better to do. Maybe we can make something cool. Shine tens time better than unrefined metal. It's hard to find any other differences. So in order to make wire, do I just have to rip that out of a wall somewhere? I think I must just have to rip that out of a wall somewhere. I don't know. Is that a beer can? I do like beer. Beer is pretty rad. The cheapest swill drunk by all space dogs. Nobody knows 
from what ways this stuff is brewed. Nevertheless, beer is distinguished by a pleasant, mild taste of tar and the fragrance of fresh porcupine dung. Gross. Physics in 50 volumes. A rare edition of physics in several volumes. They say the one who reads all 50 books will become the person who read all those books. All right. A back scratcher? Yay! It's a grabber. I can't scan my burdock, guys. Oh, I thought that was a wire for a second. I got excited. So we got fabric. Got a bunch of cards up on the walls right there. Is there anything in the bulkhead? No. Mm. A piece of truth. Why is disturbing factor uneven? That's a pretty solid chance that something terrible is going to happen. I don't think I would get on board any type of space flight that had a 67% chance of everything going wrong. Do I have a videotape that I can put in there? I've got an ad. Ooh! Doom ba doom 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 ba doom 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 ba doom doom doom. Space so dangerous, so unpredictable, just like your bladder. In space, you can find yourself left without the most valuable equipment at the most inopportune time. This is wrong. Try to keep it all in. Thoughtless waste of resources can lead to your death. Tip three, explore the environment in search of AIDS or an analog of your most valuable. I don't want to explore for AIDS. That's a horrible plan. Let's maybe not do that. Collect any valuable items in space, but be extremely cautious. Was that bird using his fart as a thruster? This dude had a cloaca thruster. With due luck and diligence, you can repair the most valuable equipment or kill yourself in even more sophisticated ways. Is that really the point, though? Like, is that what I'm going for? Like, killing myself in sophisticated ways? Do we just have, like, endless pee? What is this right here? A stand? No suitable items. Okay. I'm gonna go back out and see what kind of trouble I can get into. I do think we're gonna need more drank. So maybe I'll do that. Judging by the primary analysis of the destruction, most of the passengers of the liner died. This might be the biggest catastrophe in the history of astronautics, the reasons for which are yet to be clarified. Okay. I don't see anything in there that looks that useful. And I think we're running out of oxygen right now. I may be able to swing down. I gotta find a spot where we can get back inside. I don't have the handy scrapper, so I can't bust up the big asteroids just yet. Let me get back inside real quick. I guess I can't pull off the plating either. That seems like a markedly terrible idea to me, though. Like, don't you think that if there was plating, like, we would need that to stay where it is? Like, I don't know, tearing things apart in the void of space seems like a worrisome habit to develop right now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it back to base off just this. Are those dead people over there? Oh my god, there's dead people all over the place. I don't want to, like, escalate this situation into space zombies. So we're going to avoid all the dead guys for right now. We already checked out that ship. We could check out some of this stuff over here. I know oxygen's not unlimited. I'm working on it. Alright, let me refuel. We're going to need water pretty soon, too. I guess I'll go down and we'll... Why do I hear... ...report the presence of some nearby cooling gel. Its microscopic particles can settle on toilet detected. Some of our clients are very sensitive about toilet. Judging by the amount of joy around, this is the debris of the liner's public toilet. This means that there may be large reserves of water from the shower tanks nearby. The main thing is not to confuse them with liquid waste tanks. Yeah. Look, there's a poo sickle sticking out of it. There's a dead hamster? I don't think I want to take the yellowish water. 
Uh oh, we gonna suffocate everybody. I was too infatuated with the yellowish water sticking out of the toilet. I messed up. Let me in. Oh my god, we just barely survived that one. I need some water. Let me go back to the crafting station. We'll see what we can get done here. So inside the processor, I need water like right now. So if you can make me like two of those, that'd be great. Just mash those out for me real quick. As far as our equipment goes, I don't know if we're actually wearing a spacesuit right now. It says we're wearing a spacesuit in our picture, but I think we might not be wearing a spacesuit. I'm a little concerned with my safety at the moment. All right, go back to the processor. So in order to make the drill, I need a battery and a thick tape. For the cartographic debugging station, I need a wire. For the grabber, I need a battery, a wire, and aluminum. For resources, we've got yellowish water, made from ordinary water through alkalization through the kidneys. We've got a roll of fabric, a thick electrical tape, so I need two rubbers for that. Okay. Why do I hear the sound of running water? I think I peed on the floor. But I was just trying to make the sound of running water go away. It's like water torture. That shit would drive me nuts. I don't know if I'd be able to handle it. Alright, so with this right here... What is that? Grandpa's mug? I don't really care about Grandpa's mug right now. Grandpa's mug never was the prettiest mug. So I don't see why we should be spending a bunch of time trying to like examine it and think about past memories. We out here trying to survive right now. I need a handy scrapper to get like all this stuff, unfortunately. Bit of a bummer. I'm gonna keep gathering raw materials though. Just in the off chance that we find anything useful. I only got a couple seconds of air left. Where's my destination? I I'm working on it. I'm gonna go back in and get some air. I'm working on it. I'm just, I'm not very good at this so far. I definitely need some more adhesive tape though. I wonder if there's like an engineering section I can get to. As of right now, my flight range seems somewhat limited by the fact that I don't have enough oxygen to make it to the places I want to go. There's a dead dude over here. Does he have anything that I want? What is that? A nutrition package. Hey, bottles of water. Some alcohol. Can I bring him back with me? I'm going to put him back over here. He's coming into the airlock with me. He's going to be my buddy. And I shall name him Greg Sanchez. Greg Sanchez, come with me. Greg Sanchez, you live inside this place with me now. Just enjoy that. Can I take his spacesuit? Like, do I really need to craft one now that I've got a new one? I mean, his obviously didn't work out very well for him. But all I'm saying is, if we can recycle a little bit over here, I wouldn't be against it. We got some metal. I shall take that metal. There's another dead guy over here. I shall call him Gary Sanchez. Gary Sanchez! Come with me, Gary Sanchez! You must go inside my airlock, Gary Sanchez. Come. Come. Into my glorious airlock. My corpse collection grows. Some people call it cataloging. Some people call it mortician work. I call it acquiring new friends. Back outside we go. There's still tasks to be completed. Also, I'm dying of dehydration. There we go. Let's not be dehydrated anymore. I don't want to dehydrate no more. So pillows turn into fabric. There's another dead guy right there, but we're full up. We're done on dead guys. There's too many of you already. The dead guys are multiplied. They're multiplying at, frankly, ridiculous rates. Oh, cool. I found some wire so I can make that thing that I need to make. Oh, we need the handy scrapper for plastic? I didn't realize I could mess with these little fiber ends right here. That's pretty rad. Okay, so I've got a bunch of wire now. I wonder if I can make the thing for my objective. Let's go back, and we're going to see what's going to happen here. It still sounds like running water in here, and that bothers me. I don't think I'm going to like living here very much with the whole like running water sound constantly. So as far as crafting goes, we got refined metal, common resources, objects, stations, tools. Hey, there it is. We can make the cryptographic thingamadoobie. Cryptographic thingamadoobie.
How do I use the cryptographic thingamadoobie? Like, obviously I've made it here. I can put it in a slot. If you're sure that this is exactly what was on the blueprint, then try to reconfigure the receiver. If you have any doubts concerning it, then you will eventually suffer an electric shock, and then your spacesuit will automatically take your body measurements to order a coffin from our company. Thank you for choosing the global. The shuttle got caught in some larger debris. Lucky. So this thing over here is what I'm trying to debug. It's surprising that the shuttle is still functioning with such damage. I don't think this is a handy scrapper. I don't think this is any kind of technical equipment at all. This looks like a bunch of pieces of metal with some tape around it that I put together. I guess I'll debug this over here. Debugging time! Yeah! Attention survivors, the rescue shuttle Hope was sent for you to the nearest evacuation point due to a slight engine malfunction. The rescuer's arrival time exceeds your estimated lifespan by 4,369 years. You need to get to the extraction point yourself to cast radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills. To increase your level, you need to create some crap imposed by the developers. Fantastic. Well, this is Breath Edge, and we're out of time for right now. So I will see you all next time. If you wanted to get the game for yourself, you can get it down below. Hit this video with a like. It helps out more than you know. Sincerely, and my name is Splattercat. I show off indie games on the internet every single day and sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile so you don't have to. I'll see you all later. Hi, everybody.